Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. So let's find out what's going on in your love life. Okay, so the first card that I'm looking at is giving me the impression that some of you are at a point in which you're looking for answers. You're looking to find solutions during this time. This particular energy is one that requires not only effort on your part, but effort on the part of the individual that you are dealing with. So it's really going to take the energy and effort of two people to make this work. So even if you have the intention and desire to move forward and do something about what's going on in your love life, it really is going to require the energy and effort of the individual you're dealing with as well. Now, I feel like the energy that is preventing this solution from coming to the forefront and finding a way into, you know, a realization is the fact that someone is holding on to this energy of not being able to heal, not being able to let go of something. So I'm definitely picking up this energy of where one person hasn't forgiven the other. So even though one individual wants to resolve things, the other person is having a hard time in allowing this to occur. In certain cases, the energies can be slightly reversed. So let's clarify these cards. Yeah, I'm getting the impression from the situation that something may have ended between the two of you and one person is unable to get over what happened. So it feels as if the reason for the ending or what is connected to how things ended between you and this individual, there's been a buildup of that energy which is not allowing for forgiveness in the situation. I'm picking up this energy of where... You know, one individual is seeing things in a certain way, the other person is seeing it in a different light. And I feel like the two of you are feeling very overwhelmed by this because, you know, the relationship and the potential of commitment is being questioned just because one individual can't get over this hurdle that is standing in the way of this relationship, okay? So I feel like even if you try to find solutions right now, until forgiveness and healing occurs, nothing is going to be moving forward. Now, this particular card is showing to me that many of you want to show this individual more love, more care, more consideration. You want to, you know, show this individual that you're more mature and that you're willing to pick up this relationship and that you're not allowing it to actually fall to pieces and leave everything as it is. So that is showing your determination as well as your willpower. You know, but I'm also picking up this energy of where you could be someone that is very nurturing in terms of your energy and you could also be an attractive individual but I feel like for some of you and this energy could be showing to you that you have that willpower and desire to get more you know closer to this individual you're willing 
to do whatever it takes. That's what I'm sensing from this particular card. But what we see is that this attempt of you either coddling this individual or trying to, you know, show them more love, care and compassion hasn't necessarily been working out. It hasn't really been, you know, making them open their eyes or see where you're coming from. So I feel like that approach is not necessarily the right approach. Things did fall apart very drastically between the two of you. And I feel like many of you are at a point in which you don't know what to do in order to bring this connection back together. It feels as if you're going back and forth and you're trying to make up your mind or you're trying to decide what's the best way to go forward. Now, the next card that I'm looking at is showing to me that in respect of the situation, there's this energy of trying to stand in your power, trying to be as passionate and trying to keep your heart open to the possibility. And I feel like many of you are still looking forward to restoring the passion, but your fear is that this individual is going to be cold, distant and indifferent towards you. I'm getting the impression here that uh, many of you are thinking to yourselves that if you reach out to this individual, you know, you may be able to work things out with them, but there's also the possibility that this individual could walk away from that or, you know, Things could be set in stone if you decide to go in that direction. Someone is being very stubborn here. Yeah, I'm seeing that for many of you, you've been waiting for this individual to make a move or you've been waiting for the right opportunity. But each and every time, you know, one comes up, you feel as if it's slipping from your fingers. So I feel like many of you are getting very, very impatient, especially since you don't know where you stand with this person. And all you could do right now is, you know, think about when is this individual going to come back towards you? Is this individual still you know, in love with you? Do they still have feelings for you? Because I feel like many of you are afraid that all the energy and effort you poured towards them is not going to give you any results. It's not going to bring you any joy. So that is something that you have to think about during this time as well. There's a very heavy energy here, which is pointing towards a lack of stability and not knowing where you stand with this person and not knowing if you should keep waiting for them to come back around to you. I'm getting the impression that you're thinking about reaching out to them, but at the same time, you know, you don't know if this individual is going to be receptive to it. So I feel like this individual either blocked you or you blocked this individual or things got so difficult that the lines of communication have ended. Yeah. There's a sign here of deception. Someone wasn't honest to the other individual at one point in time. It feels as if one individual is choosing to follow a very passive approach, choosing not to do anything, choosing to be very distant and indifferent. It feels like, you know, they don't know what is the right path to go, so they're going within. And this approach is not necessarily the right approach because it's making you question, you know, their loyalty to you. I also feel like with this particular energy, there's a sense of not knowing if this individual is trying to use this as a power play by keeping the by keeping you at a distance, especially given what has went down. I feel like you're open when it comes to your emotions and you're trying to see whether this individual will come around. Many of you are hoping for things to go back to the way it was, but I'm picking up this energy of, you know, someone being closed off, defensive not opening up to the possibility of it. Grief and worry, energies that are counterintuitive to the approach that you're taking right now.
I do feel like this individual provides you with a sense of happiness. And I feel like many of you see yourself wanting to spend the rest of your life with this individual. But I feel like right now, you know, many of you are searching for answers in terms of whether or not you should stick it out because I feel like the situation has completely overwhelmed you and you're looking for a reason to see if they're going to offer you commitment, if they still feel the same towards you because you see yourself wanting to be with this individual in terms of your happy ever after. But there's been so much disappointment, regret and sadness as a result of you know what you had to go through with this person concerned. I feel like some of you are thinking about whether or not you should stay or leave, or you could be afraid that this individual has made up their mind to leave. Yeah. I'm seeing someone's ego get in the way of this connection. The two of you were definitely meant to meet each other. Whether the two of you can actually resolve your problems right now and move forward, that's the big question. Because I feel like you still have a lot of love for them. I see that your energy is thinking about this individual and there's this, you know, sense of feeling heartbroken about how things have fallen to where they are right now. I'm sensing with this energy, you are looking for commitment here and you're waiting for this individual to communicate to you. So I do sense from your energy right now that the silence is really not something that you enjoy. It feels as if you're waiting for them to give in. You're waiting for them to, you know, give up in terms of playing the silence game. For some of you, this individual may have blocked you and you could be waiting to see if they're going to send a message to you or if they're going to, you know, reach out. So let's get some Oracle cards. There is going to be an extended reading. I'll be exploring the energy of the individual you are dealing with in more detail. I'll also be looking at solutions and what's going to be happening in this situation. Yeah, I feel like many of you are in a very precarious situation because you are in this position and you're wondering, you know, if the two of you can go back to what the two of you had or if the two of you can have a future with each other. Because I feel like your love for this individual is something that really permeates into everything that you do. And you really don't see yourself, you know, with any other person at this point. So it's going to be very difficult to move forward without having that sort of clarity to know where you truly stand with them and if there's a potential for them to return. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.